Merriam-Webster defines the word databases as a large collection of data organized for rapid search and retrieval. The library's collection of databases can be accessed by clicking on the databases link from the main library's home page and the specialized databases for architecture, art, and historic preservation can also be found on the home page of the architecture library. Think about databases as department stores containing all kinds of stuff, in this case, information. Some databases are like Walmart, some are more like Nordstrom's, but all contain information that has been organized and sorted so that we can search for and find what we're looking for. Most of the library's databases are proprietary, meaning they are used, made, or marketed by one having the exclusive legal right, which also means that these resources are licensed or sold to the library for some pretty hefty fees. One of our most popular databases is Academic Search Premier, or ASP, one of the collection of databases provided by EBSCO Information Services. Most databases have similar functions and tools, so I'll point out some things you should look for when searching any database. The drop-down search boxes offer the ability to combine terms to create a focus search. By clicking on the full text box, the results will only include full articles that can be read online. Similarly, when you click on the scholarly or peer-reviewed journals box, your results will be limited to those considered to be authoritative and credible in the scholarly world. Additionally, there are ways to limit search results to a span of dates, publication names like Time Magazine, and publication type, such as a newspaper or book. By clicking on the Choose Databases link, you can see the other databases EBSCO provides. For example, EBSCO's green file is an Earth Environment database, which would be useful for researching the topic of sustainability. And the folder tool allows you to collect and save, email, print, or export your results for more efficient researching. Most databases offer tools to maximize your experience using them. Look for these tutorials, which are available in a variety of formats and can be found by clicking on the help links within most databases. Above is an abbreviated list of some of our databases. By scrolling over the name of the database, you can find out what kind of information they contain. Also, keep an eye on the description to the right of the title. It will tell you if the database contains full text articles, is linked to our e-journal collection, and any other information you should know. Let's click on the database ASFA, Aquatic Sciences and Fisheries Abstracts. This database has many of the same features of ASP, multiple search boxes, tools, delimiters, etc. However, the database provides abstracts or summaries of articles and links out to the full text of the articles. Let's see how this works. Here we have a keyword search for fish and sustainability, which specifies the date range from 2005 to 2010 and asks that the results be limited to journal articles in English. Using the drop-down menus and other tools within the database will help to create a better search strategy by eliminating results you don't want or need. Five journal articles have been retrieved, with the first two results linking to the full text of the articles. Clicking on Full Text Linking will link out to the database Science Direct, which contains the full article. While we began our search in Aquatic Sciences and Fisheries Abstracts, our results were aggregated from multiple databases. This transition usually occurs seamlessly when an article is available in one of our databases. But what happens when a record doesn't have a full text link? Looking at record number three, notice that there's no full text linking available. Click on Check for Article Availability, which generates a message that the journal is not available in our collection, but the article can be ordered and delivered through our interlibrary loan system by clicking on the Request link. The interlibrary loan form is already filled out for you, but requires a few additional pieces of information. The email address, where the article can be sent or notifi notification can be received, your name, and the barcode from your ID. 
you will be notified when the article is available. Databases come in all sizes with all kinds of content. LexisNexis for legal, business, and general news. ProQuest for scholarly and popular articles on a variety of subjects and topics. JSTOR, a collection of scholarly articles covering the humanities, social sciences, and sciences. Music Online, a streaming resource of music from around the world, and American History and Video. Databases are the Nordstrom's of scholarly research tools. Check out our collection on the library homepage. With more than 100 databases in our collection, you're bound to find what you need. And if you have any questions, contact us.